Hello friends, good evening, good evening, very good evening. So yes, today the day is very incredible for me. I am going, going to show you something very interesting, exciting, unimaginable, something you cannot believe at all. Yes, so can you see my screen? Yes, in my previous video, I was talking about Microsoft Teams and I have shown you that I have integrated Microsoft Teams with Salesforce, okay? So now, Today I have done something more. I have integrated Jira in Microsoft Teams. Not only integrated it, I have automated it. So let me uh, share my Jira screen with you. So one second, let me move this to here. So what I have done is there is a user story in my Jira and the status is this, okay? Suppose your manager or your senior says that there is a team uh, file in your teams folder okay suppose daily tracker and he wants that you should fill your daily tracker this is the same file which i have shown you in this team daily tracker okay this is on sharepoint and he wants that you your status user story and the status should be filled every day by 7 or 8 pm before logging off and suppose you miss uh, you suppose you miss it uh, any day you have to pay some fine and you miss it as many days then you have to pay some heavy heavy fine so this has happened with me before in my previous organization i have forgotten many times and i have to pay the fine so from then only since then the idea came in my mind to automate this and it was running in my mind for last many days and today i have achieved it successfully so yes let's share it i am going to share it with you how i have achieved it so this is my zira screen what i have done is but this is my user story name mti dash one the user story description integrates zira and microsoft teams okay this is the description this is a user story name this is the description this is the status i want to update this status whatever is selected in this self suppose selected for development backlog in progress done in this teams uh file daily tracker file every day okay so how how will you do this so let me show you first uh, the live demo okay so this is my apex class which i have written this is the schedulable class i have scheduled it i have not on uh, for demo purpose i am gonna run it with developer console but you can schedule it from apex scheduler as as you like based on your frequency, whatever you want to set here, okay? But for demo purpose, I have, I'm going to show you from developer console. So this is my Apex class. I'm calling it, I'm calling the API. So I have included the, my Apex code in this execute uh, future, uh, future class uh, call me method, okay? So this is my future class. This is my call me method. I am calling this method from this Apex class, to level class, okay? So this is my math Apex code. Okay, now let us run. So what will happen is the whatever status I have selected on Jira, this now the status is selected for development. It will automatically come here. Okay, I need not do anything. So you can schedule it before you, as per your frequency, before you log off the day, say 7 p.m., 8 p.m., it, it will start and it will, Done it for you automatically. It will complete this activity for you automatically. This Apex class. Okay. So let me show you. Let me go to my developer console and I hit the execute button. Okay. But you need not do hit the execute button every time. This is this will be automated for the demo purpose. I am going to show you. So I have hit this button. Let us go to the. This is my status. Let us go to my Zira C. This is the automatically this this has come MTI one is my user story number. This is the description. This is this is the name. This is the description selected for development. Selected for development is automatically uh, uh, been uh, automatically come in this cell. Okay, this cell has automatically been updated earlier. It was blank. Okay, now but since this user story is not selected for development now, it has been completed. Yes, so let us go back and make it done okay again i'll go to my developer console 
I'll click the execute button. Okay. And you see, this will be updated to done. See, this MTI, MTI one is automatically updated to done. Yes. So friends, uh, this seems to be very easy, but this is not as easy. This is a very complicated integration. And this is the latest one, which I have achieved it today. So I just wanted to share it with you. You can try it from your end. It, there are a lot of things which you have to do on the backend side. Many settings, many permissions in the Microsoft Azure directory. And uh, there is there are a lot of lot of things. Okay, so I have done it from my name is Rahul. I have done it for for me, but you can done it for any use any user. Basically, every team member can done it automatic. Automatically, it will done from every, every team members. So right now my code has I have written my the code for me, but I can add as many members I I want in this code in my Apex class. Okay, so that's all for uh, it now, friends. Have a good day and enjoy your day and keep trying these integrations on your end. This is really very interesting and you will learn a lot of things by doing these integrations. So uh, that's all for it now, friends. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.